Over on Washington's Landing, there's a relatively new company that started out in 1992 with automated health care, but is now McKesson Automation. We make uh, robots uh, for hospitals. They help uh, fill patient orders on a day-to-day -day basis for all the prescriptions filled in the hospital. We have a robot that has barcoded medications that hang on rods. This is basically our largest robot. Uh, it's a demonstrator model. It's full of candy, even though it says it's drugs. But uh, I've actually put my daughter in. Everything is done in barcode, so your name is a barcode. This conveyor scanner reads the label, sees that Maria needs some medication, and the robot starts picking it. Every time it stretches its arm, it's picking. The robot actually knows where all these medications are. A pharmacy would have set up each one of these rods to contain the medication that's needed for that actual pharmacy. So basically, the robot has picked these for this bin dispensing medications to uh, hospital patients is a highly repetitive activity that requires a high degree of accuracy. If you look at it, there's nothing there that is really unique. It's just taking existing technology and making it work for our particular application. And it turns out robotics is a great application for it. A robot doesn't have a bad day. A robot doesn't have a rough Monday morning. You know, they work all the time without any complaints, stays off, things like that. It's also not bored. It likes doing this. Rich Lunak, now president of McKesson Automation Group, has been part of all this since the pharmaceutical robot was just an idea. Well, it actually originated in a class project at Carnegie Mellon University, and our founder, Sean McDonald, uh, actually was in a class on entrepreneurship and had to write a paper on a new business idea. And uh, he was an automation engineer with me at Westinghouse Electric Company and got partnered with the director of pharmacy at Allegheny General Hospital and what's their idea to automate a, uh, a hospital pharmacy. And so that's how it all originated. This is probably an idea that other people have had, but somebody in Pittsburgh decided to make it. You know, I like to think that there's something special about Pittsburgh, you know, certainly the blue-collar work ethic. I think that the mix of, of high-tech and, and kind of low-tech that you find in western Pennsylvania makes it a unique environment for developing a, a moving product. Okay, so here's our new control cabinet. So That's Al Bowers, main engineer on the first robot and now engineering manager. I think because we're crossing boundaries between electrical and mechanical and, and computers, it's, it's difficult to find that mix of skills in other places. And also, we, we just have a great academic base. You know, we've been able to attract the best employees, you know, in our, in our industry. And I think that's a great competitive advantage. We don't just have good engineering schools. We have good technical schools also. Penn Tech, Pittsburgh Tech, all these places train the people that fix this stuff, too. There's a lot of people in here take pride in what they do. They don't want people to have to make service calls on something they built. They want it to run forever. Any piece of equipment that I, uh, I send out of here has my name on it, and it, it, it runs. I came here with very little experience, and I learned a lot, and I'm still learning. I think when like, any kind of electronics come into the scene, it just makes your people better. It makes the people in Pittsburgh better. Well, my father was a steelworker, so I've got the whole steelworker mentality. You know, you work hard, you get the job done, and you move on. We all contribute to... to making a product that, at some level, helps people. Yeah, it makes it feel good to know that uh, all over the country, and now we're moving out, uh, actually out of the country too, that our machines are going out all over and they're helping people out. It's a system that saves lives eventually. That's so cool. <laughs>